renewable polymorphic transition materials. Recent environmental changes not only caused resource exhaustion, but also derived a huge amount of wastes. How to recycle industrial and environmental wastes and convert them into green materials for reuse is the top priority for global waste reduction. Sand molds, shell molds, and cores used in the traditional casting industry are made of expensive imported sand for single use only. They cannot be recycled and must be processed by an outsourced supplier at an extra expense, not only increasing the cost but also deriving environmental pollution. The stone processing industry generates almost 500,000 ton cutting residues annually. Operators mostly accumulate and discard them since the recycling will involve multiple processes which result in poor quality and high costs, and the processed material can only be used in degraded applications with low economic benefits. Waste oyster shells produced by the aquaculture industry are a major source of pollutants. They are abandoned for prolonged periods and are prone to breed mosquitoes and insects and generate odors, making the coastal ecosystem dirty and untidy. Using oyster shell wastes and stone residues, MIRDC has invented renewable polymorphic transition materials. This ingenious application, the first ever in the world, turns environmental wastes into an innovative green material that can be used as an alternative for making industrial casting molds, allowing the single-use sand molds to become recyclable for multiple uses. Poly-T materials simulate the self-transit logic of calcium looping, where calcium carbonate is the main transit body that works with silicon dioxide and transits into two application modes based on the path of reaction, thereby regulating the process for exerting optimal properties of the product. When poly -T materials are used for casting sand molds or shell molds, they are sintered at high temperature, where calcium carbonate fully transits into calcium oxide to sustain high temperature molten metal and maintain the overall strength of the work. When casting completes, water can be used to impact the shell mold since calcium oxide turns into calcium hydroxide and disintegrates. This solves the problem of traditional casting where the shell mold cannot be easily removed by water dissolution. It saves the post-treatment cost of shell molds and is applicable to high-strength castings with complicated structures such as impellers, water pumps, etc. Disintegrated calcium hydroxide further forms into calcium carbonate and cycles to the raw material. Additional derivatives can be used as ceramic glazing, filter stone, refractory, etc. The innovative green material can generate nearly 550 million US dollar business opportunities. Using process control prevents transition. poly -T materials can be solidified through hydration combined with additive manufacturing to form bionic corals and fish reefs that may coax corals to approach the bionic bodies since they are resistant to seawater impacts and will not dissolve substances that may endanger the environment. Poly-T materials have three advantages. They resolve industrial and environmental pollution. Ingredients of the material and the form of their derivatives can be precisely controlled, a breakthrough to the limitation that polymorphic applications are hard to achieve in traditional individual materials, and they bring about brand new innovations in the casting industry and marine ecology restoration. Adjusting processes for various products, poly-T materials can be used to develop high-priced castings in the aerospace, energy, or biomedical industries, or to invent new materials for restoring relics, not only achieving full recycling and zero waste, but also increasing high-value applications of wastes, thereby bringing green ideas into the world to develop sustainable businesses and achieving win-win situations. Metal Industries Research and Development Center.